Here's the finished product on fender boards, homemade by yours truly. And you can see how they sit off of the boat hull by those two black barrel fenders. And when they come close to the piling on the right, you've got a lot of motion forward and aft, two or three feet forward or aft, so that you still are protected from the piling. Here's how we get started. Go out into the back to the Golden Dolphin, which is our workshop, and we've got an ordinary pressure treated 2x6 board. Usually you can buy them 8 feet, 10 feet, 12 feet, whatever fits into your car. We'll decide how long to make it in a couple of minutes. I'll show you that answer soon. So we'll drill some holes. You'll use a paddle bit and drill. In this case we used a 1 inch paddle bit and drilled a 1 inch hole through the board. And then you can see how we put some at the top and at the end and then kind of sort of towards the middle for spacing depending upon where your handrail stanchions are aboard your boat. And then of course we've got the rope. In this case we bought about 50 feet of half inch three strand nylon. It's easy to splice three strand if you want to splice it or just tie a knot to suspend the boards down the side of the boat. Also we used a 36 grit sandpaper to clean off all of the splinters and the rough edges. And there you can see the 36 number on the back of the belt sander paper. And then we've got the board upright and you can see the holes where we will hang it on the side of the boat. And we used a router. You can see that yellow piece where we actually knocked off the square corners we rounded out the square corners so it would be easier for you to handle it, less chance of getting splinters in your hands. Finally, how long should you make the fender board? The answer is as long as possible, as long as you have a place to store it. This boat was a 40 foot performance cruiser and this is the garage or the trunk on the back of the boat and that's as much space as we had to put it to wiggle it into the, the two corners or the lips of the hatch. So those boards were just about five and a half feet. Finally, you've got the holes. You see the holes again next to the white hose. Mind you, that white hose is a sanitary drinking water hose, not to be used for anything else, just drinking water. And now we've got the fender board deployed two white barrel fenders against the hull of the boat, then the board is hanging. You can see the ropes to the right and to the left holding it in place and it's straddling that wooden piling. So therefore we're protecting the boat and the hull from the wooden piling by using the fender board and the two barrel fenders. This is a single barrel fender on one side of the piling. See the piling to the left? And you can see the rope down there at the bottom of the fender board where we're pulling it aft to try to keep it stretched and in place. Same thing with the forward side. We're stretching or pulling it forward to keep it in location. And there, we've got the boat protected from the piling for most all cases, maybe even including hurricanes. So that way you don't get piling rash aboard your boat. And again, this is the end product we started here. So this shows you what a fender board system could look like aboard your boat. They're easy to make, easy to build. The key is make sure you've got a place to store them aboard your boat when they're not in use. If you have any questions about fender boards or anything else boating related, ask Captain Chris.